So today, I am talking about the Brooks Ghost. So don't be confused by the test run in the Hoka Tracer. I didn't test the Ghost, I just decided to talk about what they did different because there's no reason to test it. We already know it's a great shoe. And just thought I'd tell you about the differences between uh, the Ghost 8 and the Ghost 9. But this brand new shoe needs to be tested. Time to run. So this is Ellie. She comes over because she wants a cookie. She's the neighbor's dog. Ellie's a good girl. We like Ellie. Timbo run is complete. Good times. Now to get on with the day. All right, Ellie, let's get your cookie, okay? Let's get your cookie. Come on. Let's get your cookie. All right, we've got a host of Brooks Ghosts sitting here. Right here is the Ghost 8, and the rest are versions of the Ghost 9. And let's talk about uh, some of the differences that we see. Um, essentially, you can see here, uh, maybe a little bit diff difficult to tell, but the uh, midsole, outer sole, and outer sole are essentially the same. There's no no big change. Um, they did do some uh, did do some skyping through here on the midsole. They might feel it, make it feel a little bit softer um, when you run in it. Uh, the, the ghost has been known to be a little bit firm when you first put it on. So I think that skyping will will give the shoe a little bit more uh, give. As you stand in it uh, but most importantly is the difference in the upper so in this ghost 8 you can see um, these welded overlays on top one you can already you can see in this shoe that where it's buckled a little bit so that happened a lot on the ghost 8 but more importantly is uh, many runners could feel that right across the top of their foot so uh, what Brooks did is they, they got rid of it and instead used uh, an engineered mesh to create the same type of the same type of support without having an overlay on top of it um, that binds the foot. 
Uh, results are just dramatic. People, um, you're gonna feel the you're gonna feel the new improved fit. It's gonna feel like oh, it, there's room in the forefoot, um, and that's a great thing on the Ghost. Visually, they did some they did some updates uh, with this puff print back in the heel. They did a a uh, modified saddle. It's an uh, it is a a printed overlay on top using with the logo included. Um, so a little bit saddle to hold your foot in place. Like I said, engineered mesh and. Uh, just some skyping on the midsole. See if I can get closer. You can see the skyping on the midsole to create a, a slightly softer ride. Um, otherwise, flex screws and everything are in the exact same place. Now, one thing that is uh, interesting to note is brands are trying to get away from the visual of a medial post. And maybe I can show you. Uh, maybe I can show you another medial post. Here's this uh, New Balance C860, and you can see this big white medial post here. So, so brands are trying to to get away from the medial post. They're trying to hide it. And here's the Ghost, which is a neutral training shoe, and they went with uh, a white midsole against the dark midsole in the forefoot and across the top. It makes it look like it has a medial post. And it's not just that one color, it's every single shoe is done that way. Here's the men's, done the same way. And uh, here's the USA Inspired, done the exact same way. So really interesting, uh, it just, I find it odd that uh, brands are, are trying to do away with the visual of medial post and here comes the Brooks Ghost, a neutral shoe that looks like it has a medial post. But it doesn't. That, that midsole is the exact same hardness all the way around. So I mentioned the USA Inspired Ghost. Uh, they're, doing, they're having some fun. So back on the print, they've got stars. Okay, so stars all around. The, uh, the Chevron logo is gold, so that's pretty cool. The aglets, the aglets are gold, so that's pretty cool. And then the insole, so the regular insole, is a little bit fun on words, carpe runum. Okay, and on the USA Inspired, it's the star print. So pretty cool. Uh, Ten dollars more on the USA print shoe. Um, the uh, overall, the the Ghost didn't change in price either. It's one hundred twenty dollars. The USA print is one hundred thirty. Uh, but a, a great update. The the improved fit alone, um, right up here. This improved fit alone is going to make this shoe um, that much more popular. Uh, Ghost fans are going to love it, and Brooks is going to add new Ghost fans. There's no doubt with this shoe. So nice job, Brooks. Like going to the gym or anything? What was that thing in the cup? 
Sigma. What was it? Boba. Boba? Yeah. What's that? It's like, <clears throat> I didn't know it was, but it's, uh, so you take like a tea, whatever like flavor tea you want. Right. And then whatever, bo it's like tapioca, like balls. Oh, and okay. And then you, you drink it and you chew the balls. It's actually pretty good. I was like, there's no way I'm going to like this. But right. that's like what, well, usually it's five people that go, but there's only two there. Last night, they usually go get boba after the meeting. They can get it for free. It's one of the kids. Mo, the executive officer, works. At Not sure if you can see it, but that's a hawk right there. Just sitting there calmly. And this blackbird is chirping at it, saying, hey, what are you doing on this, uh, forget it, I'll let you t listen. The awesomeness of our park in the morning.